Hey everybody, thanks for coming to the webinar. Um, we have scheduled a webinar with, just checking my notes here, with um, Catherine Hall. Um, she does 203K consulting and 203K in a box. And she has um, the National Association of FHA Consultants, a nice organization for um, 203K um, inspectors. Um, there we go. Now we got it. So let me share my screen. There we go. And so I'm going to show my screen. So can you see my screen? Yes. It's WIIFM question mark. Perfect. Yes. And so we all know what WIIFM means. It means what's in it for me. And <laughs> so that is the radio station that everybody listens to. When you want to know what you're doing in your business, when you're talking to real estate agents, when you're talking to anyone, you should always be plugged in to their radio station of choice, which is WIIFM, what's in it for me. And what we're gonna talk about today is how you can grow your business. Now, a lot of you find that getting in front of real estate agents is difficult, largely because when you're working as, as home inspectors, many people think of our skills as home inspectors as a um, roadblock to settlement. They think of us as the people who are causing the problems, who are making the difficulties. And what do you do when you go out to a property that is a short sale home or is a foreclosed property? You find yourself in a situation where you're the bearer of bad news and what are you going to say to the people when they want to buy this home if there's no alternative except to say, okay, this is, this is it. This is what it looks like. Here's your information. Have a nice day. Well, 203K and renovation consulting as a whole is a great way for you to be able to answer that question. And the first important thing I like to talk about when I'm talking to people is what's in it for me? There we go. So... What do you do when you're at a property and you're finding that it has repairs, the heater is not in good condition, or it's missing altogether, or you have a situation where you are going to the property and it's a short sale or a foreclosure and it needs repairs. What do you do? You're giving them this information, but you can't tell them how they can get past the home inspection. Well, that's where renovation consulting can come in and provide the resource that can help your customers be able to know what's going to happen with their world. So as I said, I like to show people the most important thing um, in their business, which is why should they do something? What should, what should be the reason for them getting involved in a process? And let's see if this works. Okay, so with FHA 203K Consulting, why should you choose to do it? Well, the most important valuable reason for doing anything is to make money. Okay, and a lot of people have had a misunderstanding about what the fees are for being an FHA consultant and what they can get compensated for. So now you may have heard about three years ago, HUD altered the fee schedule and they made it very, very low. Well, HUD has basically found that no one would do FHA if the fees were that low. So they decided, okay, we're going to go back to giving consultants the money they deserve for doing this work. So what you're looking at on the screen now is the actual fees you get paid at the time of performing the work of creating a preliminary report. So when you go out to a property, you do a home inspection, you get paid, usually right there at the time of service. When you do a 203K consultation, you also get paid at the time of service based upon the repair amount. Now, the cool part is that when you get paid these fees plus mileage, all fees that are paid to you as an FHA consultant are reimbursed to you, are reimbursed to the borrower at the close of escrow. So they get the money back that they've paid you for doing the work that they're doing. Now, when you're thinking about that, let's just take an example. This is in addition to your home inspection fee. And so now I want to break this down for you a little bit, and then I'm going to drop back and punt. Let's take a project that has only $35,000. Let's talk about what the typical transaction is. A person wants to buy a home. They need money to purchase the property, and yet and still, they find that there's repairs that need to be done. If they're working with an FHA mortgage, the repairs that are identified by the FHA appraiser that fail to meet FHA minimum property standards must be completed prior to the borrower going to closing. 
that's a traditional FHA B loan. If, however, they can get those repairs added to the purchase price, completed after settlement by a contractor that the borrower, the home buyer, selects, then they don't have to do any repairs before closing. The seller doesn't have to do any repairs before closing. Everything is wrapped into the loan, and the fees that you are billing to the borrower and being paid at the time of service are wrapped into the loan as well and deducted from their closing costs at the settlement table. So if you're looking at this situation here, you can see that the typical home inspection fee in, the, uh, in, in most markets is around $400. So what you do is you go out to the property, you get a fee for doing something called a feasibility review. And then if the repair of the project was a $35,000 job, as you saw in the prior slide, anything between $30,000 and $45,000, your total fee is $750. So you've got the $750 fee plus the $100 feasibility review plus your $400 home inspection fee, which means that at the time of service, in other words, before you walk away from that home, you're going to get $1,250, not including mold inspection, radon testing, termite inspection, septic, well, all those additional fees, and many of those fees are mandatory in order to identify what the repairs are going to need to be to complete the renovation. So in other words, if you see indication of a mold-like bacterial growth substance, okay, that's what we typically call it as a home inspector, right? Well, if you see that in the property as an FHA consultant, as a renovation consultant, you have the authority to order a mold inspection to determine the severity of that contamination. Now, one of the most amazing things is that I love about working with Intranachi is that for the most part, they have trainings and resources to teach you to be able to offer these ancillary services, usually for no fee. And one of them is mold, right, Ben? That's right. So if you're not yet offering mold testing services, you can actually offer that service and get the certification or the training that you need to do that as an InterNACHI member absolutely free. Is that cool or cool? Okay. So, and you guys also provide resources for them to be able to get the equipment to do the mold testing, correct? That's right. Everything you need to be a mold inspector through Internet G. And the typical fee that most customers, most consultants or home inspectors charge for a mold inspection ranges anywhere from $350 to $500 for a three test base. Is that about right in your, in your world, Ben? That's right. It's comparable to the fee of a home inspection. Exactly. On top of the home inspection and as an FHA consultant, that fee is reimbursable to the customer at closing. So in other words, all fees that they pay you come back to them at the settlement table. Now, how much? You, so there's no fee resistance to your service. All right. So let's take this into a typical process because that's what you get paid before closing. After closing, when you go out to the property, you're going to be doing inspections to qualify the work that the contractor is going to be doing. You see, he gets no money up front. He has to begin work and you do what is known as called a phase construction draw. And those draw fees are determined by you. You can charge, and HUD established this about two and a half years ago, that you as a consultant can determine what the fees are you're going to charge for these draw inspection fees up to $350 per draw plus mileage. In addition to that, if you go out and do a project, you do a draw inspection, and you identify that there are some changes that need to be done, you get to charge a fee for processing change orders. So now I don't know about you, Ben and I have been in this industry a long time. Have you ever had a contractor complete any project in your life, Ben, that didn't require a change order? There's always a change. <laughs> always a change. And since you as a consultant have to create the documents that allow him to get paid for those changes, you get to be paid for that. So here you can look at a typical project of just 35,000 in repairs. Before closing, you saw that $1,250 that you get. After closing on a $35,000 job, let's say you're doing about three draws and let's say you're charging $200 per draw plus 20 miles at 57 cents a mile. So that's $11 and 40 cents a mile for the mileage. Plus you get two change orders for that project. After closing, added to the escrow, already waiting to pay you 
when you submit an invoice after you do the draw is an additional amount of $834.20. So for a single project, one rehab project, you're able to earn $2,000. So now let me just explain that how many home inspections do you have to do right now in your market? Think about it to be able to earn $2,000. Write that in the chat box. I see that there's some questions and I'm going to pause right now to see if I can pop open the chat window to see if there's any chats that are questions that people have. I can talk, walk, and chew gum. Uh, yes, please do feel free to ask me questions. Um, for me, I actually started my company back in 1994. And um, when I started my company, we were a two-person company and we actually got a contract by the city of Philadelphia to do home inspections for people getting something known as a first time home buyer grant in something called CDBG funds, community development block grant. And if you're taking notes of this conversation today, please, please write down housing counseling agencies, community development block grant funded home buyer workshops, because all over the country, there are nonprofit associations offering home buyer education for people who are getting government assisted funding for their home buying. And that's how I started my business. And then we got this contract and we grew from a two person company to a five person home inspection company. Money was flowing in beautifully. And then the mortgage meltdown hit. And at the same time, the mortgage meltdown hit about eight years after I'd been in business, the grant with the city of Philadelphia to provide us the money for doing home inspections ended. So I had to find a way to be able to provide income for five consultants, five home inspectors, two back office people and me. And 203K was the way I was able to do that because something you need to know is when the market in real estate, this traditional home buying market is hot, renovation lending is low, is not. We are now entering into a recessionary environment. And if you want more about the recession that's coming, make sure you go, you send me an email and I will send you a link to join us for an upcoming webinar, which is about market trends and how the real estate market is changing. And when the real estate market changes and then we're about to enter a recessionary climate and many of you have found that your business has slowed down a little bit. When traditional home buying goes down, alternative home buying goes up. And that's when 203K can be that tool, that financial cushion that way to keep your business solvent, even when home inspection is not doing as well as it might. So this is another tool in your tool belt, another bullet in your gun, for those of you in, in gun coding states, like Florida, <laughs> I'm now in Florida now, that says that, you know what, I don't have to worry about that cyclical situation as a home inspector, where I've got to worry about, oh, I'm not going to get that much business because it's Christmas. Well, think about it. If you're doing phase construction draw inspections, and if you're doing just five draws a month, in other words, five projects that have one draw each at $211, five times two, that's $1,000 of money coming in just for doing simple 30, 40 minute phase construction draws. That is the power of being a renovation consultant. And so in my 25 years as a consultant, as a home inspector and a multi-inspector business owner, I was able to find a resource in renovation consulting that gave me a way to get in front of agents because they didn't know about it. You ask a real estate agent, they're going to say, oh, I don't know about that, or I don't do that, or they're a mess. Yeah, because they had bad resources. This is a new way to have something new to talk to people that helps them give you business opportunities. The nicest thing about working as a renovation consultant is your work comes from lenders. So your revenue stream is not real estate agents. Now, I love my real estate partners and they are amazing individuals, especially those who found the value of doing renovation lending or renovation home buying for their clients. As I said earlier, if you're adding the rehab to the purchase, then the listing agent's gonna love this because guess what? They don't have to convince their seller to do any repairs on a home before it goes to closing. Your buyer's gonna love it because they're gonna get to pick the materials and systems and components that are put into the home, they're going to choose the contractors that are going to do the work, and it's all going to be overseen after closing by you, and the borrower is going to be involved 
And so your buyer's agents, your listing agents, your sellers, all are going to love this because it eliminates their activity and involvement in the activities that really are not their concern, which is fixing a house. And as you can see on this slide here, reduced liability. Like I said before, if you're looking to do $2,000 worth of home inspection business, how many inspections is that for most of us? At about $400 an inspection, you're talking about five home inspections. That's five potential buyers who could come back to you to try to want to litigate you if the roof is leaking or the plumbing burst or outlet didn't work in the room that had it, that where the outlet was behind a couch and you couldn't even test it when you were there. And InterNACHI has their amazing buyback program, which is absolutely fantastic to be able to protect you. And this is another way to be able to reduce that liability. And here's something new that many of you don't know. Many of the insurance companies who insure home inspectors will cover you for your 203K or renovation consulting activities at no additional premium because they know that this is almost no liability because the liability passes through to the contractor who's going to do the work and because there's a contingency reserve, the change order funds to cover unforeseen problems. So this is what the value is of adding renovation consulting to your business now is because it is a growing revenue stream. And if you go to the news, if you just Google on the internet, renovation loans or 203K in the news, you will see articles up and down about why 203Ks are busy right now. And another thing to be mindful of is the fact that 203K is only one of the three different ways you can add renovation consulting services to your business. You see, there's something called the Fannie Mae Home Style. That is a conventional renovation loan that is mirrored to exactly the FHA loan with one very important exception, two actually. One, there are no FHA minimum property standards. So in other words, you don't have to be restricted to what it must do in the home. With FHA, if there is a defective GFI on the kitchen counter or none at all, that must be added to the repair cost. With the Fannie Mae home style, if they don't want to add an outlet on there and the it's not a mandatory requirement because this is not a FHA insured mortgage, there's no FHA appraisal. Now, obviously, a, a traditional appraiser is going to call for GFI outlet. That was just an, ex an example. But, for example, there are many situations, like, for example, a roof. If the roof looks to be just on the edge of being near to the end of its life expectancy, the FHA appraiser may call for it to be replaced because you must demonstrate a minimum life expectancy of three years on any system in a home. Whereas in a conventional loan, if it isn't leaking, it's good to go. So a borrower doesn't have to move money into some repair they'd rather use for something else. That's one of the biggest advantages of a conventional renovation loan. The second big advantage of a Fannie Mae home style rehab loan is that as a consultant, you are not restricted to the HUD fee schedule. I think the HUD fee schedule is very reasonable when you think about the systems and components that we give you to make it easy to do this work. But once you get past the $100,000 in repair, HUD caps what you can get paid. With the Fannie Mae home style, there is no cap. And the third renovation resource tool for you is VA loans. As of last year, VA has broadened its renovation loan program. It used to be just $25,000 that you could add to the purchase price for rehabs. Now they have a full-blown renovation mortgage with no caps, but you must use an FHA consultant. So you see now the business is going to start growing. And with renovation consulting, you're going to improve your customer relationships because you're going to make more agents happy. You're going to be able to create some key partnerships with lenders, contractors, and other suppliers of materials and systems that are going to help you get in front of more real estate agents. Your costs are going to be lower because you're not buying any expensive equipment. All you typically use when you go out to a renovation appointment is a flashlight and a tape measure and your digital camera or cell phone if you take your pictures with your cell phone. And the revenue is guaranteed. That is the, one of the most powerful things to help a person grow your business, guaranteed revenue. Because I knew that we had 10, 20 ongoing draw inspections coming forth in the next three to six months, I could budget the growth and expansion of my business because I knew at the very limited base, I had guaranteed money coming in. 
You can't say that as a home inspector. There is no guaranteed revenue every month. It's does the phone ring. So I know that if I have 10 projects in escrow doing construction and I'm getting 200, 250 per draw, I'm going to make two to 22,000 to $2,500 every month for the next three to six months, not including change order fees. A great way to be able to manage the growth or downsizing of your business. And so, as I said, you've got the 203k rehabilitation mortgage. There's the energy efficient mortgage that allows you to be able to, that are needed with a renovation consultant, the conventional rehab loan, and the home energy scoring upgrades. If you add the rehabs that get you a higher home energy score, you get to utilize that home energy scoring discount based upon the rehab that's going to take place after closing. So now, once again, Ben, I know you offer the home energy scoring training and resource to not InterNACHI members, correct? That's right. Yep. So this is a wonderful, so as you can see, what we're offering you, what we're showing you, why we love our partnership with InterNACHI is because what we can't provide you as far as uh, services, InterNACHI does. So it's a hand-in-hand -hand partnership that gives you multiple streams of income, multiple streams of revenue, home energy scoring, rehab loans for conventional loans, energy efficient mortgages, rehab loans for FHA buyers, conventional buyers, and now VA home buyers. So these are some, we're not gonna have time to go into this today, but in a future webinar, we will go into detail about the different types of FHA insured mortgages. All of these are able to be um, resources where you as a renovation consultant provide reporting and services to uh, generate fees. My favorite is the newest one, energy efficient mortgages. But again, home energy scoring, for those of you who are not familiar with that, I know Ben has a lot of resources on their website about this. If the house meets certain minimum scoring in the age of the heater, the value or the quality of the insulation, the weather stripping around the doors and windows, the type of window, is it a vinyl lowy, double insulated thermal pane window? Is it an insulated door? These are features that determine, whoops, these are features that determine the energy scoring of the home. If the home scores six or above, correct, Ben? That's right. Yeah, the EE, uh, the uh, Department of Energy says if your home score is six or above, you get to have, you get to increase your debt to income ratio by two points. So 2%. So in other words, that gives a buyer more cushion for how much they can afford to buy because they can have more debt. And the debt to income ratio is one of the biggest issues that prevent people from becoming home buyers. And so with, if they cannot get the home to get to a six or above before closing, but they're going to add those renovations into the 203K or Fannie Mae home style, that will make it so that the home is six or above because of the renovation, they get to have that debt to income ratio allowance. Did you know that, Ben? No, that was good details. Yeah, so this is something that is so important. And as I said, I mentioned before, the Fannie Mae home style has been around a long time, but a lot of real estate agents don't know it. So as I said in the very beginning, what is the most important thing that you have to do? get in front of your audiences. And we are all knocking on doors, telling real estate agents, I'd like to come give an educational training. Well, what can you offer them? Now you have new educational training opportunities, home buyer workshops. You can, you add this to your inspection services. Again, the more opportunities you can get money from the same customer, the less your cost of doing business is. So if you have one client who's getting a home inspection, a radon, a termite, a mold inspection, a septic and well, and a renovation consultation, that takes less time and effort to be, than it takes to generate one inspection from six new people. And again, that lowers the liability. So this is how you leverage being an FHA consultant. So now a lot of you always say to me, well, no one asks me about FHA inspections. No one says to me, do I do it? Well, here's the answer. If you are not on the FHA roster, there is a HUD roster of approved consultants, you will not get called to do this work. No one's going to call you to do something you're not on the list to do, just like no one calls you to typically to do auto repair because you're not a licensed, licensed mechanic and you're not marketing it. But if someone is asking you, if you find yourself getting a question, do you do FHA inspections? 
unless you are an FHA 203k renovation consultant, your answer is no, because you cannot do that work without having this HUD approved, being on the HUD approved roster. Now, many of you are saying, oh, well, I'm in a market that doesn't do this. There, it, people think that this is for low income. It is absolutely not a low income product. So what we did was for this conversation today, since we know that this is a group of people from all around the country, I took what the maximum loan limits that are typical for most areas, and I also provided you some of the high limit numbers. So now a single family home can get a renovation loan up to $417,000. If they're going to be getting a duplex, a triplex, or a quad, they can go as high as $801,000 and rehab all of those units. If you are in a high limit market, for example, Los Angeles, New York City, and actually Hawaii is even higher, the loan limits start at $625,000. So they recognize it's regional by what the price of homes are in that area. And so this is not a low income program whatsoever. So now I wanna give you a flow chart to give you an idea on where you would fit renovation consulting in your process. So first of all, as an FHA consultant, you go out to the property and you would create a feasibility report. We show you how to, you don't get $100 for this, so don't worry about you seeing a slide that said $100. Typically you charge $400 plus mileage for this report. And if the report, if the repairs are, that's supposed to be the less than sign. So I don't know math, so let's fix that. And there we go with the wrong carrot. Bingo, okay. So if the repairs are less than $32,000 that need to be added to or desire to be added to the purchase price, that borrower can move forward with what is called the limited 203K. It used to be called the 203K Streamline. So if some of you are familiar with the term FHA Streamline or 203K Streamline loan, that is a, a former term. So now the correct term is a limited 203K because it is limited to non-structural repairs and it's limited to $35,000. So now you might be saying, well, wait a minute, you have another typo, it says 32,000. The reason why that number says less than 32 is because every FHA insured mortgage must have a minimum of a 10% contingency reserve for those change orders I talked about to cover unforeseen problems. And if you have a rehab amount of 34,000, that additional 3,400 will kick you out of the qualifying for the limited loan. So we keep our rehab loans under 32,000 if the client is looking to go with a limited K. So if they can, you've made $400 plus mileage, they're gonna move forward and they're not gonna need you as a consultant after that fact with the limited 203K, they don't have to use a consultant. You made your money, they move on with their rehab. Problem solved. If however, the repairs are not less than $32,000 or they're structural in nature. I mean, even as minor as one ceiling joist that needs to be replaced because it's checked or it is damaged by termite infestation, that one joist needing to be uh, sistered or replaced automatically bumps that project out of a limited K into a full K. At that point, the contractor comes in and completes and submits his bid. When he submits his bid, then you as the consultant create your work right up and then you get paid again based upon the total repair amount. So I told you up here you get 400. If the total repairs were 35,000, we know that the total fee that we're going to get is 750 plus the $100 for that feasibility visit. So you got the 400 here, you're going to get another 450 here and then they go to close and the borrower gets reimbursed the full 850. After closing, then you start doing your draws. This is the typical flow of events of a renovation project. And right here where it says creating the feasibility report and contractor bid form, all this is done by our amazing system called Genesis. Additionally, this is where you would do your home inspection, your radon test, your mold, and other ancillary services. So you see you have a great opportunity to provide the service. Now, we have a product that we actually provide to our members. It's called the FHA Minimum Property Standard Reporting System. And I don't have a whole lot of time to go into this today. We're going to be holding a webinar on understanding minimum property standards and how to make money at it. But we've actually created a very simple system that allows you to be able to offer a report to a person who's buying with an FHA mortgage that gives them a simple checklist 
of whether or not that property passed or failed minimum property standards. This is an amazing tool, and you know who loves this product? Investors. How many of you work with investors and do inspections for investors? Raise your hand on this. Raise your hand so I can see. Because most invest investors, and ben, ben, as an investor yourself, you really don't want the full home inspection report. You don't need to know about the stained carpeting or the one cracked tile in the floor. You want the meat and potatoes, right? Right. And if you are looking to resell or reflip that house to a future FHA buyer, as an investor, what you really want to know is, what are the repairs I have to make to make it past the appraisal when I'm getting ready to sell it, correct? So that's what we can provide your investors for a much lower fee than the home inspection and your customers who are saying, I can't afford a home inspection. Can any way you can give me a discount? Everybody hear that? Yeah, I can give you this limited report. And usually by the time you finish that report, if it passes the FHA state minimum property standard report, you can say to them, you passed the minimum check, congratulations. Now would you like me to give you the full expanded home inspection so you could know exactly what's going on in this home in detail? Because that report was limited to just what the FHA appraiser is going to look like, look at, and I did not take the cover off the heater. I did not go on the roof. I did not go into the crawl space in any kind of a depth, but I can do all of that for you in the home inspection. And next thing you know, you're upselling to a home inspection. On this end, if it passes MPS, if it fails MPS, you can now upsell it to a 203K or Fannie Mae Home Stop or VA renovation loan. So you want to have some fun. This is my this is my favorite part of uh, the conversation is when I get to show you guys some of the before and after pictures. But before I do, let me just tell you that my job as a home inspector, when I got into this industry 25 years ago, um, I came from a background. I used to work for the city of Philadelphia Department of Licensing and Inspections, and I saw so much suffering in home ownership. So many people whose homes had to be condemned because they had serious structural damage and they were put out on the street because the home was that bad. I've seen fire damaged properties that people were still trying to live in because they didn't have any insurance. So for me, being a home inspector coming into this industry, I have a family history of housing. My father worked for PHA, which stands for Philadelphia Housing Authority. And so all of my life, I've been in and around residential housing issues that had government involvement and government support. And I saw these people living such depressing, dis dis disheartened lives. I wanted to know if there was a way I could do more. And I thought home inspection would be that vehicle. And for a time it was, but then I found so many people who were given my report and it was a matter of, here's your report, have a nice life, bye-bye. Where'd they go from there? Renovation consulting for me feeds my need to give back. It helps me be able to rebuild neighborhoods. And I'm going to show you an example of a neighborhood, a house that is my joy to walk, drive down the street when I was in Philly and see and say, as I drove past this house, I did this. I helped make this happen. So let me share with you some before and after pictures, okay? Sure. Here is a house. Uh, this is right at the beginning of construction. The house had been boarded up for 12 years, okay? It was in an amazing neighborhood. It, uh, the home was a twin. So in our market, we have two homes side by side. So right here along the right hand of this house was another home attached to it. So can you imagine how miserable the, the person living next door was to having this house next to them? And you see all the overgrowth and the trees. And you can see someone up there in the window up there. This is what it looked like uh, when I went to go do my first draw. And this is what it looked like when the project was finished. This was a $180,000 rehab. The purchase price of the house was only $80,000. It was in a $400,000 neighborhood. You notice how we got rid of all that overgrowth of trees and they actually started putting up fencing. Is this beautiful, Ben, or what? It is. Really good job. Can you imagine driving down the street knowing you helped put that house on the block? This is another it's example. Really nice. It is. It's awesome. This is another picture. This is something that I didn't get a chance to touch on very much, but we can talk about it in another conversation. 
working with people who are not buying a home. 40% of all renovation loans are for existing homeowners. Now, as I said before, I love my real estate agent partners. They're amazing people and they have a really hard job, but sometimes they can stress you out, right, Ben? <laughs> and if I can work 40% of the time and not have to have a real estate agent involved at all, it's a lot less stressful, wouldn't you say? <laughs> sure. So, and since the people already live in the home, there's not that pressure of, I've got to close, I've got to close, I've already told my landlord I'm leaving, when am I going to be able to move in? They live in the home. It's already theirs. In many cases, they will still live in the home during construction. So this was a customer, they were up in upstate New Jersey, New, North Brunswick, New Jersey, which is right off across the bridge to New York City. And he actually did work in New York. They bought the house a year prior. Now, if you look at that picture, that looks like a very nice kitchen. Wouldn't you say, Ben? This looks like a decent That's kitchen. Right. I'm, yes. I would be happy with this kitchen. Nobody would be bothering me. But the client wanted a little bit better. So we did a conventional renovation refinance, and it was a 100% desired upgrade project. This is what they wanted their kitchen to look like. Mm. A lot prettier, isn't it? Beautiful. Now, was there anything wrong with the first picture? No, but this is what they wanted. So every single thing in this kitchen was a desired upgrade. And with the Fannie Mae home style, I got paid to be able to do this right up for them and the draws, everything the same as the FHA, only no mandatory repairs. This is an easy job. And as you can see, without a real estate agent involvement, without the pressure of closing on settlement, it's straight money. Here's another scenario. This is a customer who had a home and her home was damaged by Hurricane Katrina. A contractor came in and started doing work in her home and left it like this. So as you can see, someone was actually sleeping over here in this unheated, unconditioned area because they left the house unfinished. So this was also a refi. We took this situation, again, helping people enjoy their lives in their homes. What better thing can you do than make people happy about their homes? So this woman, we took her home and turned it into this. Nice. So you can see this is now, you can see where we had the pull down ladder. Back here, we had a bedroom. Over here, we added a bathroom. We put the heat pump up in the attic. We gave her beautiful laminate flooring. The value of her home went up dramatically and she was able to refinance out of the rehab loan and be able to get an even lower mortgage monthly payment after the renovation was completed. So this is what the power of being a renovation consultant can be. So now, what's this picture of? Bacterial-like hey, substance. <laughs> Catherine, we have, unfortunately, only one or two more minutes left. Okay, I'm going to scroll past a lot of this, and I'm going to go right to the meat of this. We want to get you, hey, look at those pictures. Does I that see look that. Familiar? Okay. We <laughs> have an annual event called the 203K Discovery Days. And this one here was held at the House of Powers last year. And there's some of the people that we held it at at their beautiful facility. We're going to be holding our next 203K Discovery Days, May 1st to 3rd, in beautiful Western Fort Lauderdale, Florida, at the uh, Pro Lab Internachi House of Horrors in partnership with them. Nice. And we want to invite you to come join us for that event. So we're giving you a special price. The typical, if you go to our website, which is 203KDiscoveryDays.com, when you click the link to register for the event, the price is $4.97. That is three full days with all meals, all three days. Okay? We're going to give you a special promo code so that the promo code is Nachi TV. So N A C H I T V. If you go to the 203K Discovery Days website.com, maybe if I can pull that up real fast. And here we go. www.203K Discovery Days.com. Click the link. And when you go to that web page, you're going to be able to see webinars that we've held previously that gives you more information about the event. And when you register now and you hit the button that says, and you hit the link, and then you enter the code NACHI TV, N A C H I T V, you will get a price of just $197. How is that for a discount, Ben? That is absolutely fantastic. So Thank here you, you can see that. We're going to give all our special guests, it's, it's $397, sorry, not four, and 
if you add another person, it's $4.97 for yourself and a guest, but if you click that link, we're going to give you $197 plus $97 for your guests. So all you have to do is go here and type in the promo code N-A-C-H-I-T-V, click apply, and look at that discount. Beautiful. So that's what I wanted to say. I wanted to invite everyone, come be, learn how to become an FHA consultant. Come network with lenders, contractors, material suppliers. Come get to see the InterNACHI House of Horror, not like a home inspector, but as an FHA renovation consultant. So if you've gone before, come again. It's a whole different perspective. So I know we're a few minutes over time, and I just want to thank you, Ben, for allowing me to come. If anyone has any questions that they'd like to ask me after the event, please feel free to email me at c at support at nafac.org. That's support at n-a-f-h-a-c.org. Or through InterNACHI, they know how to find me. And uh, these sure. are some of the sponsors who are going to be at our event. And we are going to be hopefully adding InterNACHI as a sponsor. I haven't, thought, haven't given them the opportunity yet to join us, but I'm sure they will. So, Ben, I thank you so much. I hope you'll invite me again. I will. Thank you, Catherine. I really appreciate it. It looks like an amazing opportunity for home inspectors to make extra cash and to help people out in their own neighborhood. So in I their, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Everyone, if you have any questions, let me know. But until I'm able to support you in the future, be outstanding. Have a great day. Thanks, Catherine. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.